Stranger Things season four was amazing to say the least, but I really feel like season five is going to be the craziest seasons hands down and it's because of Karen Wheeler. And you might be asking like, why is Karen important? But right now I'm going to break down why I believe Karen is secretly working for Vecna. Now just to start off, this is just a theory obviously, but there are just a lot of things that are adding up and I just wanted to get this video out there. So season four posters for Stranger Things released and there's been some interesting things going on with these posters. If you guys had a chance to look at these posters, Karen actually got a poster for Stranger Things and it's actually very odd. Now this is extremely odd because Karen literally got like no screen time this season. She was more of a vital character in season two and she still didn't get a poster for season two, which literally makes no sense. Like why give her a poster for season four, but not two. But then I started to compare these posters and I realized that the locations on the posters actually correlate to where the characters were throughout the season. As seen in Argyle's poster, we can see a big mansion house in the middle with palm trees. And all this was pointing to was Argyle being in California, and obviously it was. And so was Jonathan, Mike, and Will. And as seen in Eleven's poster, we can see the lab. And yes, Eleven was in the lab for most of the season. And then we can see Russia by looking at the background and we can see the winter and the lighthouse. But then we start to look at these other posters. Eddie was in the upside down. And as we can see, Vecna's house right there in the middle. Dustin was also in the Upside Down, Erica, Lucas, Max, Nancy, Steve, and Robin. And last but not least, Karen. As seen by Karen, we can see Vecna's house. Now this isn't no coincidence. Now you see why I'm questioning why would they give her a poster? She got no screen time. I never saw her in the Upside Down, but they still gave her a poster with Vecna's house on it. See how it's weird? If we take a look back in Season 1, Episode 1, we know that Mike, Will, Lucas, and Dustin were all playing D&D in the basement. And Karen interrupted them and, you know, she sent everybody home, basically, because it was 15 over, apparently. Is it Mom, we're in the middle of a campaign! You mean the end? 15 after! Then Mike asked if he can play for 20 more minutes, and obviously Karen said no, causing them all to have to bike home. But then we know that Will gets captured by the Demogorgon, or as we think. As seen by this figure, we can see a human-like kind of form. Now this is definitely no Demogorgon, I'll tell you that. And what gets even crazier is the fact that this Demogorgon actually has telekinesis, or the ability to move things with its mind, as seen by this scene. Now if I'm not mistaken, the Demogorgon definitely does not have telekinesis, but Vecna definitely does. If you're still not convinced, then listen to this chime. <laughs> That right there is the sound of Vecna's claw. And this is constantly chimed throughout season four, you know, when he's trying to capture his victims. But what I'm really trying to get at is the fact that Karen should have really just gave him 20 more minutes to play and none of this would have ever happened. And that's why I secretly believe that Karen is behind this entire thing with Vecna. And here comes the same scenario in season three with Karen. As we know, in the first episode of season three, Billy was actually hitting on Karen and Karen was really digging it. And as we know, Billy asked out Karen on a date you know and he said the location and the time and everything and Karen agreed to it basically shall we say tonight eight o'clock but then we know what happens to Billy right he's on his way to the motel you know at eight o'clock then what happens <laughs> and right after he crashed he then got captured by the mind flare Now, is it really just a coincidence that every time Karen is involved, somebody is captured? I personally believe Karen has at least something to do with the entire situation with Vecna. Now, this theory might be a little bit far-fetched, and I might be stretching a little bit, but, I mean, it's a decent theory. Anyways, tell me what you guys thought of this theory. My name is Eternex. Subscribe and like, and goodbye.